Hi everyone. So as we're looking at tools that we can use for remote learning and e-learning, uh, I want to put out a quick combination of tools that will really help your students when we're looking at delivering presentations and content to them. So the first one we're actually using right now to record this, and it's Screencastify. Screencastify is a screen recording tool that records anything on my screen. And then you can also see that down in the corner here, I have the video camera on or the webcam on my computer turned on so it's recording me and you can see my face. I think that's really powerful, creates that connection between you and the student. So something to maybe keep in mind. Um, the Screencastify is an extension that attaches to your Chrome profile so you can see it right here. Uh, when I click on it though, I'm in the middle of recording so you don't see the actual uh, screencast like options to start it, but it's just a quick click and then you click record and you're on your way. So what I want to show though is how we can bring Screencastify and Google Slides together so we can deliver content effectively and making sure that it's accessible for all our students. One of the issues that we might see out there is that you get a group of students that, you know, they're siblings and you have three or four different videos that all the kids have to watch all at the same time. They're sitting around the kitchen table trying to do their homework uh, or do their learning while they're at home. And it might be hard for them all to watch a video at once or they have, don't have enough headphones to go around. So what we want to do is I want to show you a way that you can leverage closed captioning using Google Slides and Screencastify. So the key here is that we go to present our slides. So here we have our e-learning resources slide deck that I'm gonna to present to you. I'm gonna go ahead and click present. And when I do that, Screencastify is now recording my presentation. And what's interesting about this is now I can go here down to captions. So as I went into the present mode, I now can go to captions, click that on, and you can see now I have closed captions. So this works even without using Screencastify, but it's really powerful to have this on while you're recording. So that way your students can read what you're saying and they can pause it, look at the text and kind of reflect on that. Now you might say that that's a little bit small and there's too much content on there. So what you can do is you can click the drop down arrow, turns the text size anywhere from small to extra large. And you can see this is a little bit easier to read now. So if you have students that are maybe watching videos on mobile devices, um, this might be a better text size for them because watching on a phone or an iPad and having a small text size might be difficult. Uh, if you don't like the text at the bottom of the screen, you can change the text position by clicking the little drop down arrow and going to top. And now you can see that the text goes up to the top. So I think combining these two really make your slides much more accessible for your students and will allow their learning to be just a little bit, hopefully, easier for them. So this is a quick tip uh, that I hope you found useful and I hope you enjoyed uh, to help your students with the e-learning process.